Now another example of a business that was re-energised by clear goal and clear vision is that small little hamburger outfit that's based out in Oakbrook, McDonald's. In 2003, McDonald's was in deep trouble. January 2003, it actually announced its first ever quarterly loss, $344 million. And what McDonald's did was it invited Jim Cantalupo, who had previously been president and vice chairman, to come back into the business to try and resurrect the business. McDonald's was in deep trouble. It was losing market share, it was losing customers, it was losing also, just as importantly, brand equity. And the golden arches were badly tarnished. McDonald's at that stage was seen as being the evil poster child for obesity and all the issues associated with the food industry here in the United States. <coughs> Cantalupo was, was invited back and at his first investor conference, Jim Cantalupo extolled what I would call a clear goal and a clear vision. And what Jim Cantalupo said was as follows, and I quoted verbatim. Wouldn't it be something if we had clean restrooms and hot, fresh food served in our restaurants? The chairman of McDonald's said, wouldn't it be something if we had clean restrooms and hot, fresh food served in our restaurants? Now that's not a pretty dramatic vision, but it is clear and it is compelling. And it was that clear goal and that clear vision that Jim Cantalupo insisted on and demanded on for the 16 months that he was actually running the McDonald's business before he was taken away from us. But that clear goal and that clear vision re-energized McDonald's. And it built McDonald's to such an extent that a few months after he made that statement, the McDonald's share price had fallen to about uh, 12 bucks 50. Um, just out of curiosity, has anyone got McDonald's shares here in this room? Okay, so you're looking at the $70 share price right now and saying, thank you, Jim Cantalupo, or thank you, McDonald's. Right, but I mean, the difference is that Mac McDonald's had lost the vision, and they'd really lost their reason for being. It, was, it had a, become a sloppy organization with poor disciplines and poor procedures. Jim Cantalupo came in, demanded the execution of that goal and vision, clean restrooms and hot, fresh food. And what I found intriguing was that while McDonald's had to see Mac Cantalupo go after 16 months and a guy called Charlie Bell came in. Charlie Bell used consistently say at investor conferences and at analyst conferences and when he was talking to shareholders and the media, one of the things he used consistently say, which I found intriguing, McDonald's is going to have the cleanest restrooms in the industry. He spoke about the food, but he always spoke about McDonald's is going to have the cleanest restrooms in the industry. Because Bell and Cantalupo appreciated that there's more than the core product that creates a total brand. And today, McDonald's has been, become hugely successful because they've now started to appreciate that and implement it, and they're doing a great business as a result of that. But again, the question for you is, do you have a clear goal and a clear vision? No matter what size your business is, when Howard Schultz came to Chicago in 1987, Starbucks was a very small business, but he had a clear goal and he had a clear vision. When Jim Cantalupo took over McDonald's, it was a very large business, obviously, but it was struggling desperately. But it was the clear goal and the clear vision that re-energized the business. The question for you is, do you have a clear goal and a clear vision as to what success will look like? Because if you do have that, it will energize you, it will get you out of bed, and it will definitely keep you motivated, even through the tough times.